Hello everybody, I'm Andrew. And I'm Phil. And welcome to Drinking and Driving, the unleaded edition. Unleaded meaning this is a non-alcoholic drink that the whole family can enjoy. We're celebrating the 50th year of the Lamborghini Countach with this drink right here, so stay tuned. So we got our ingredients here for this non-alcoholic drink that we're going to make that's going to honor the legendary Lamborghini Countach. Phil, what ingredients do we got here? Alright, so we're going to be make, basically making a float, an Italian ice float. So we've got lemon Italian ice, and we've got uh, raspberry lemon Italian soda. We're going to use some Powerade, some melon flavored Powerade Ooh, in ice frozen. form. Which is, that's a fun thing to do is you know, take a drink or something you like and then freeze it in dice cubes. Um, I was having trouble getting the quite the what layers right, but then that I came up with the ice cube. I didn't, I didn't invent ice cube trays, but you know what I'm saying. I came up with this. I'm like, this is perfect. So this is a a long sipping float, given what I've experimented with and everything like that. So what we're you want to just jump into this and start yeah, making it? Let's just do it. Okay. So we are going to. I'm feeling some summer it. vibes with this. Oh good, they're just gonna pop right out. So, so go ahead and get your. So how many pieces of ice are we gonna put in there, Bill? That's a good question because I didn't plan that. We just you want a, you want a decent layer at the bottom. Okay. Right? So basically, what we're doing is we chose these ingredients not only because a they're Italian the references, except for power. Uh, no, the power rates for power. Right. That's what we said. Power. power. Power for the power. And you know, their logo is the bull. Yeah. So. So, and we also have the colors of the Italian flag. We've got mm -hmm. green. Now, we're going to add, and here, I'll let you go ahead and open All right. One. Add our Italian ice. Good old Italian ice. White. The yes. white part of the Italian flag, which is real nice. See? See, it's a little soft, so we don't really, we can just drop that in. Come on, don't embarrass me. I just got all excited that it was going <laughs> to flop right in. There we go. All right. So then we take the knife here. Yeah. We kind of get to. So I got to show you how to fill. That's right. Okay, it's done. You you killed it. You, you can take that. You stabbed it to death. And then. And so what's going to do? It doesn't. Because oh, Italian, oh, look at that. Because Italian ice doesn't melt quite this quickly the same way as ice cream, like in a float mm -hmm. would. So it's going to act sort of like an ice cube, just a giant ice cube. And it's sort of a time-released float is what I came up with. It seemed like to me when I was experimenting with it. Your ice cubes are going to melt. Your ice cream will, your uh, Italian ice will slowly melt, especially when we pour in our soda. So we got now raspberry lemon soda, Italian soda, which I've never had Italian soda, but I don't think there's anything fancy about it. We're just going to pour that in and let it, that's the red, it's a deep, more a deep red, mm -hmm. but still it's red. Oh, it's giving us an orange color. Nice. Oh, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and get a little more there. Okay. This is looking like a pretty color. cool drink here. I'm excited. So we're not going to add Very a recipe. summary. This is just representative of the original Countach. This is, we're gonna add in our Red Bull coconut berry after we try it first. Yep. But this is gonna represent the new 2022 Countach. So, we wanted something, a modern ingredient. So, just so you're tracking, so the frozen Powerade melon, mm -hmm. the green, yep. and the uh, lemon ice, or the Italian ice, yep. and then the raspberry lemon Italian soda. This is to commemorate the original Lamborghini Countach right yeah. here. This is the original flavor. Got an Italian float here. Boom. Let's try it out. Wow. Mm. That's really good. That's good. Oh, this is like a perfect summer drink. Forget that thumbnail or title of our last drink. This is This is the drink of summer right here. That the whole family can. That's enjoy. an interesting mix. You got your ice cubes in there melting, bringing out mm -hmm. that melon flavor. You got that raspberry lemon soda, and then your ice cream is just melting. Wow, that is refreshing. All right, 
That's very, very good. You know what? It's funny how we started this uh, segment to be like, oh, we're just going to like throw ingredients together and it'll probably be bad. Mm-hmm. Probably gets pretty good drinks. Yeah. It's turned out <laughs> so, pretty good. Um, so now we get to add the modern twist right. to it. This will be interesting. This is I have not had coconut berry Red Bull before. Yeah, me neither have I. I, like the, I chose that one instead of regular because it's hey, the white can and it's like the impact white of the new Countach. Okay. So this will be... It's got a blue color. Interesting. Oh. Hmm. Got that little iceberg of Italian ice in there. So we'll say this is to add the American influence. Look at the green come out. Yeah. Okay. This is really neat. I have straws, but you only need them for this kind of float. So. Not for this one. All right. Now so here's to the is... 2022 Happy 50th Countach. Yep. Here we go. Ooh, wow. Mm. That is good. Yeah. It, it, however you want it is good. Yeah, you don't need to have the Red Bull if you don't want to. And to be honest, you could experiment with flavors you like you want to if you want to use this is just our version. You want to use the strawberry um Italian ice, you can do that. Just you different flavor soda, different ice cubes. There's just all kinds of fun things you can do with this. Yeah, and maybe for the kids, you know, you don't want to put the Red Bull in it. No, you want no. Them all hyped up. Yeah. But you know, the original without the Red Bull in it, very good. The kids would love it, especially you know they're coming in from splashing around the pool, or they're in the pool, or they're hot and they're coming in. They want to cool off. This is a perfect drink to cool off. We made a non-alcoholic drink that looks like a beer, <laughs> so, yeah. with the suds and everything, well, and the cut of an amber. Yeah. Either. I mean, this is good. So this is a long sipping drink uh, representing the long legacy of the Countach. That is, for those who don't know, the Countach is the Lamborghini you probably picture when you hear the word Lamborghini. If you don't know yes. anything else about cars or anything about Lamborghinis, you've seen this car. You know what, you've seen it in movies. It's iconic. Um, and there's a reason they are celebrating a 50th anniversary of it and bringing it back. So. Yeah, everybody, you know, especially if you grew up in the 80s or, you know, if you're in your mid-30s to 40s to maybe even 50s, you had a poster of the Lamborghini Countach in your room. Yeah, yeah that is one of the 1980s poster cars. And it didn't matter if you, like I said, it doesn't matter if you were into cars that much or knew much about it. You're just like, that's a cool car. It's got that wedge design, those cool shark gills that they're putting on the new one as well mm -hmm. and uh, yeah you know a little bit more about the details of yeah so the 1986 Lamborghini Countach one of the so one of the big things that it did that uh, it's known for is it's the first car to break the 400 horsepower realm and by first car to break the 400 horsepower realm I mean the first car that you can go to a dealership and buy yeah so back in 1986 the 86 Countach it was 449 horsepower. That was just unheard of, you know? Yeah. Um, the other thing that was interesting about it is because you see the wet shape of it. Mm -hmm. You look at it, you know, it kind of looks, it looks very futuristic. Yeah. You're like, oh yeah, that's very aerodynamic, it's right? It's a rocket ship. Yeah. yeah, but actually the funny thing about that is it's actually not aerodynamic at all. It's oh, essentially really? like a flying brick. So mm -hmm. it's designed by being that wedge shape and looking all futuristic and cool and everything, it actually prevented it from going above 175 miles per hour. Wow. Which the new one is actually more aerodynamic. It can do 222 miles per hour. And you know, you'll see, you'll see people who have seen the new one's design and say, well, it looks a little more like uh, Diablo or something like that. But, you know, whatever. The, I think they, it's, it's a, the new one did a good job, like, you know, taking the good, from the older model and then modernizing it. Yeah, it's, it's not, an homage, you know, it's a yeah. modern version of it. So. Exactly. Um, another thing interesting about the uh, 86 Countach was the wheels at the time were the widest wheels available. So they were uh, Pirelli P7s and the size of those wheels, let me look at my notes here. I don't wanna really get this wrong. We got notes but this time. 345 by 35, on a 15 inch wheel, that's the crazy thing about it. They're 345 by 35. Like we're talking about like these suckers are like this big, yeah. you know, very wide. Wide car with wide wheels. And uh, yeah. But they're on 15 inch wheels. Like yeah. 
you know, like a Honda Civic, that's what a Honda Civic would have, was like a 15 inch, you know, like Honda Civics from back then, you know, yeah. um, the economy cars. So um, the wheels, you definitely, you know, you couldn't just walk into your local tire shop and be like, hey, you know, I want some Pirelli P7s, 345 by 35s, 15s, because usually those tires are put on like, you know, an 18, mm-hmm. uh, you know, at minimum, you know, modern, like a 17 inch tire. You How know? much? If you were to walk into a dealership, how much would you have paid in 1986? For so 1986, it was $142,750. And now the new one, I'm pretty sure, right now is $2.6 million. Yes, $2.64 million. That's before anything else you add on or whatever. Yep, and your but packages. they're already bought and spoken for to 112 of them. Yeah. Which... So, I mean, yay, we're celebrating a Countach, but... We you were, can't buy. We're never gonna sniff the Countach anyway. Yeah. You can't so. buy the new one; they're yeah. already spoken for. Yeah. You're gonna have to get on the resale market, which yeah. guess what? The value is gonna go up. Oh, yeah. Even if this stuff going on right now with used cars, even if that was not going on, the value of this car is still gonna go up as years pass. And then if one of those guys wrecks one, then <laughs> the value is gonna go up even more for everybody else. It's the idea of wrecking a two point six million dollar. Yeah, I know. It's just oh. insane. Um, so the other thing about. The uh, 86 Countach, some interesting facts. It did 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds. Still pretty good, you know, even to today's standards. The quarter mile time is very good, 12.8 seconds. Okay. The uh, curb rate, the curb weight of the car was 3,285 pounds. Um, so it's pretty heavy. Yeah. You know, it doesn't look like it, yeah. you know, but it, it was heavy. It was a trellis frame, mm-hmm. so a real thick frame on the car. Yeah. Um, but it was able to, you know, put these numbers up, which was, uh, you know, I mean, it, it was definitely a, a supercar. The world hadn't seen anything like it, you know. Um, now, the 2022 Countach, like we said, Phil, only 112 are made. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty sure I know how that went. I'm pretty sure, you know, if you're a Lamborghini owner, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Lamborghini sent an email out to everybody that they had on their list that has bought a Lamborghini. And they were probably like, hey, we're going to re-release, you know, the Countach to honor, you know, the 50-year anniversary. Um, who all wants one? It's going to be two point, what, six, four million? Yeah. yeah it's going to be $2.64 million. Who wants one? Yeah. And 112 people responded back saying, hey, I got the money. I'll take yeah. one. Yeah. You know, that's where that 112 number came right. from. Yeah. Um, now, Phil, how fast do you think or do you know the 2022 Countach does? I think I looked it up. I could be wrong. Of zero to 60, I'm going to say about two seconds. Yep, 2.8 seconds. 2.8 seconds. Woo. Quick car. Yep, that's actually zero to 62 miles per hour. It's kind of weird how they do that. And I believe the top speed is what, 212? 221 miles per hour. Oh, okay. You're dyslexic. Okay, I got switched in mine. 221 miles per hour. Guess what does the quarter end? I couldn't tell you. I'll give you a hint. Vin Diesel wanted it from. Paul Walker in the first Fast oh. and the Furious. Uh, what is it? It's a 10 second car. Oh, okay. 10.1 seconds. I was going to say Chronicles of Rick. quarter. No. <laughs> 10.1 seconds. Um, the curb weight of this one is, it's heavy too. Of it's course. a thick, it's a thick boy. 3,516.37 pounds. But it is a nice looking car. Yep. And uh, horsepower, 819 horsepower. So comparing the two, you know, you got a 1986 and then you got the 2022, 36 year difference, right? Um, so back then, you know, with the 1986 Countach, it's what they called, you know, the analog car. So it was all, you know, everything's all manual on it. There's no, you know, electronics, no stability control, none of that. It's just yeah. you, the car, the wheel, and the stick, you know, for the, for the gear shifter. Um, which a lot of people, even enthusiasts, they kind of, you know, miss that, you right. know, miss the analog, uh, you know, they miss not having all the electronics oh, yeah. and everything. Um, now this new one, you know, it's the new generation, the new era. Yeah. So with this one, it has a 6.5 liter V12 and uh, it is electrically assisted. Okay. So what that means is that it essentially has a hybrid motor that is fueled from a huge capacitor you know okay. like essentially kind of like a battery yeah. a mega battery um, I'm not sure how it regenerates that capacitor I'm sure it may be like from the brakes kind of like what Tesla does and what if you go back to the Honda inside that's how you know the, the original hybrid that's kind of how 
they regenerate. I'm not sure. I'm just speculating. Right. But the advantage that you get from that is that the electric motor assists the gasoline V12. So that's how you're able to get the quick, you know, zero to 62, not just 60, but zero to 62 mile per hour specific. in 2.8 seconds. Because, you know, the one thing about electric motors is, is that it's instant. Like oh, yeah, the torque, the power is just boom. It's like, it's like it gets launched from a rubber band. Yeah. So um, I'm sure it's way more expensive to fix if anything breaks on it versus the old Countach, which the old Countach from um, my research and everything and people that own it, actually pretty bulletproof. So really, yeah, very reliable. Um, and, and here's the trick, you know. So this is what Jay Leno said, which he knows a lot about cars. So I'm sure he's right. But he said that with his uh, Countach, he didn't have any problems with it, and he contributed that because he had an Italian mechanic tell him that you know in Italy it's warm, you know, very temperate climate compared to parts of the U.S. Mm -hmm. So the trick is, is that those cars are meant to be ran in that kind of climate you know optimally so unlike a lot of cars where you can just turn the key and then, and then go um, on the Lamborghinis especially if it's a cool you're in a cool environment you just start up let it warm up and then once the temperature gauge needle moves then you're good right okay. and Jay Leno said he did that with his Countach and he has never had any problems with it other than basic maintenance which is you know good to know yeah um, if you spend that type of money on a car, you want it to be uh, yeah, you know, want it to be reliable. But um, so the, I mean, the good thing about it is that other than normal maintenance, you're probably not going to be paying the mechanic much on repairs on the older Countach. Um, the newer ones, uh, I mean, it's too new to know how reliable it's going to be. But I do know that with you know anything hybrid nowadays, if something breaks on it or you got to replace something, it's very expensive compared to the other stuff. And I'm just assuming any kind of, uh, the, the modern electronics just complicates, you know, repair work anyway. Yeah. So, so yeah. but it'll be interesting to see um, how this stuff pans out. But, so, um, what do you think about the 2022 one? You think they, you think they hit the nail on the head with it? I think it looks beautiful. Um, I think it's a cool homage, 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 um, why can't I not pronounce that word right now? Homage, tribute. Let's just say tribute. Yeah. It's a cool tribute to the Countach. And, uh, you know, like I said, we're never going to be able to drive it or on it. But Never say it, never Phil. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> we got one right outside. Yeah. Wee. And uh, I was number 112. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I, I think they did a great job on it. I mean, yeah. whether or not purists are going to like it, that's that's up to them to decide. You know what? I'm, like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just a fan. And I think it looks great. But I do think I prefer the original, just from the just for the iconic design of the original. I just think I prefer that the real squarish, angular, mm -hmm. you know, wet shape. But that's yeah. me. I mean, I think the twenty twenty two is definitely a uh, it's definitely a poster car. Yeah. You know, um, probably you know the next poster car, like you know, my boys might have it up in their room. You yeah. know, when, whenever they understand what that is, my old, my oldest he does understand. But I wonder what the twenty what is the current. 2022 what is the current poster car for people is there uh, one is that a is that just a lost art or something we don't know i don't know let's know in the comments you know if you got a car poster up you know if you're a younger person you know between like 18 22 or whatever what cars um do you have on posters on your wall or maybe it's desktop backgrounds now or phone backgrounds and and based on purely playing like games like gta online what's popular Probably the knockoff, the and they don't use real names and stuff, but they have their Bugatti. That's the mm -hmm. Veyron's probably right. The current or the Chiron, whichever one. That's probably what kids will be like. Ooh, that one's the fastest car. And even though I'm pretty sure it's not anymore, but uh, I don't know what it is right now. Top speed, I, I believe it still is. Yeah. But you know, zero to sixty and quarter miles, yeah. much better cars that would be. Oh yeah, yeah. But, but that's probably it's probably more like oh that look that's the weird looking car that goes really fast and is expensive <laughs> so that's pretty much what that yeah. probably is so but let us know what you think of what do you think the current poster car is for people how do you feel about the 2022 uh Countach you know mm -hmm. let us know if we're wrong which one would you take the 86 or 2022 or a different version yeah um so did you have a poster of the Lamborghini Countach I had a poster mine was I'm pretty sure I had a Carrera, mm -hmm. and I had a Viper. 
Okay. There's a reason the Viper is my favorite car. But yeah, that was the yeah. first American car to hit over 400 horsepower. Interesting. Yeah. Yep. I love the Viper. It's a big, mean, nasty car. It's hard to drive, apparently. So yep. uh, dangerous. But um, yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't. Predict, I didn't specifically have a, have a uh, Countach poster, but I was very aware of them. I love the Countach. I wish I had a poster of it, mm-hmm. but I did not. Ironically, I had a poster of the Lamborghini Countach. It was a black one, like driving into the sunset. I tried to find the poster because I wanted to use it in the video, yeah. you know, as a B-roll, but I couldn't find it. But ironically, I got that poster at Homecomers, which town that I live in. Homecomers is going on like now. So when this video airs on Saturday, um, this will be like, that'll be the tail end of Homecomers. It'll be like the last weekend day for it. But anyways, they had this like dart game to where you took like the darts and you threw it at a poster that you wanted. And uh, I was like, oh, the Lamborghini. I was like eight or whatever. I'm picturing real sharp darts and you're just like, I'm going to put holes in the poster I want. Like it was, it was steel tip darts. And you it's just, a weird game, you know, but okay. Hey, you just grab it and throw it on the poster you wanted. You know, you paid them like five bucks. So they got the poster, I'm sure, for 50 cents. So I'm just going to go around town throwing darts at things I want. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you just... Uh, that's mine. If it sticks, you get it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but I mean, it was definitely the poster car for me. I mean, it's still to this day, you know, like, I know another thing that people don't realize is like, that was the car with the doors that flip up yeah. on it, you know, that created that icon for Lamborghini because the, uh, what was it, the Mira before yeah. that? It didn't do that. No. Nope. You know, they just opened like regular. But yeah. I love the Mira, but yeah, those doors really make it stand out. Yep. So the doors, it flips up and everybody's like, oh, Lamborghini. And but. the thing is, you couldn't see very well out of that car. You can't oh, see no. the back. And they had to have a... They, Lamborghini came up with a... Periscope. A, yeah. They, well, they came up with a way to actually for people to back to park their car by, you know... you Lifting the door and then looking out. out of it. And you're just like... It takes a lot more skill. Like it's drivers. very... It's just... That's just a funny fact. That they're just like, yeah. yeah, we made this over-the-top design car. And sometimes you got to pop the door open and get out of it to drive it. So. Yeah, the earlier Countach models... Is it the earlier ones or the later ones? Um, anyways, there was a Periscope model that they made for the rear view. Because the rear view mirror was literally like this big. Yeah. Like probably about the size of a modern day like smartphone. Like, yeah. So you could see out. It but, started, the, the first ones were in the 70s. The first Countach was mm-hmm. 70, what year was it? 74. 70, yeah, 74 I believe. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're focusing on the 86 because it's one of the more it's the iconic, iconic one. one. And until the Diablo came out. There were multiple design changes to the mm-hmm. Countach, but. and another fun fact. So on the so I believe it was eighty six. That's when they started putting the the big wing on it. Mm-hmm. Um, they uh, the wing I think later on they figured out it actually made the car slower. So because oh, uh, so uh, Jay Leno, I was watching his episode or whatever about it, but Jay Leno took his off because he said for one he said. Too many like ladies asked him like, "How old are you?" Right. And you got that big wing on it, and uh, and then he also said that it made it slower. So I feel like if you're gonna have, to be fair, if you're gonna have a Lamborghini Countach, taking the wing off of having the wing on it or not mm-hmm. isn't doesn't make you seem like a, like you're right. a kid or trying to try or like a midlife crisis. It's a Countach. It looks re- yeah. It, I was I keep saying ridiculous. It does look ridiculous. It's over the top. It's crazy looking. Mm-hmm. Wing or not, you know. Yeah, you just. I think it looks good either way. Yeah, it's but. when you're buying a car like that. That's you're you're making a statement when you're driving a car like that around. It doesn't matter. You're just like, yes, yeah, so this is. I'm driving a Lamborghini Countach in town. Look at me. Yeah, there's no way around. Exactly. I mean, people are gonna look. You're not driving a Countach to be subtle. Right. You're not buying any Lamborghini to be subtle. Exactly. So, yeah, and that's fine. Yeah. But yeah, but this is the drink. To pay homage to the Countach, we still um, got past it. and present, it's very good. It kind of gets better the more you drink it. Um, you know the you know the kids can enjoy it. Like I said, don't add the Red Bull for the kids yeah. unless you yeah. want them, and, unless and, you want them like you know doing a WWE in the <laughs> living room or yeah. pool or whatever. But um, without the Red Bull, drink of Red Bull. There you yeah, there. <laughs> Woo! But. Um, without the Red Bull, it's very, very good. Add the Red Bull to it, it's good. And again, you can d- try any kind of configurations of flavors you want. This is ours, but you can choose different types of lemon, uh, Italian ice. You can try different flavors of soda. 
different flavors of your Powerade, Ice Cubes, mm -hmm. even Red Bull. Just try different things out and let us know what you think. Maybe you hate this and you find one you found one that you do like. So we try to keep it as simple. This is a fairly inexpensive, you know, drink. It's like three bucks, three bucks. Uh, Powerade, what three bucks? Mm -hmm. Basically, everything is about three dollars. Yeah, but so. you know, you serve in more than one person. It's mm -hmm. gonna come down to like fifty cents a drink. So right now we're trying to reach our goal now of two hundred subscribers. We're at one hundred twenty-three. Thanks to you. So if you would. Please, you know, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already yet, and comment because the comments do help. Yeah, that's quite a bit because we like to engage with you. And um, also, you know, share, tell your friends. We're trying to reach those 200 subscribers. Um, we're already going to do something special. Watch the last episode before this yeah. of drinking and driving, and you'll figure out exactly what that special thing is that we're going to do. That's right. But that episode is going to be out by the end of August. So, I don't know, you got anything you want to add about the Countach, Phil? I think we just say happy 50th anniversary to the Countach. Yep. And congratulations, Lamborghini. Yep. Uh, you made luck. one heck of an iconic vehicle. Good luck with the 2022. And one, maybe one day we'll get to look at it up close. Mm. Yummy. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.